hey guys in today's video i'm going to show you how do you actually uh, uh, resolve this error uh, when you try to integrate a uh, contact center ucx 12.5 with call manager 12.5 so when you're doing the integration for the first time uh, uh, let's say if you are doing a fresh install of 12.5 contact center express and the call manager you will encounter this error uh, which will save in uh, like uh, cisco unified rcm authentication field because of ssl exception ensure that the tomcat self and certificates from all excel providers are uploaded to the tomcat trust through cisco os administrator so basically uh, this is what it says is like uh, before you do the actual integration on the contact center you need to basically uh, you know um, download or import the uh, tomcat certificate from your call manager uh, to your contact center and then only you start with your integration so this is uh, i got this error as soon as you log in right so it will not allow you to proceed so what you have to do is uh, i'll go to the call, call manager and we'll go to the os administration click on go and then i'll click enter the credential So once you do this, what you need to do is you need to navigate to the certificates and download the Tomcat certificate from the call manager. So let's see that. How do you do that? Okay, so we logged in. Now what I do here is I go to the security certificate management. Click on find. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll look for the Tomcat certificate over here. So I see this is the Tomcat certificate. So it's mentioned here. I'll click on this and save this particular Tomcat in uh, uh, one of the folder. Click on download and this Tomcat 1 PM is something I've downloaded. What I'll do is I'll copy it in a folder so that we know like what certificate are we importing. I'll just copy in a while. Okay, so I copied this folder in over in my desktop. So what I'll do is I'll just rename CCM Tomcat. All right. So I just downloaded this file and copied in uh, one of the folder in my desktop and rename the file. I'll close this. Now I'll go to the uh, contact center. I'll remove everything. So what you need to do is uh, you need to enter CM platform here. So which will navigate you to the uh, OS administration. Now what you need to do is you need to log in here. Now once you log into the OS administrator. Now go to the same path certificate management. And now upload certificate certificate chain click on this and here you need to select tomcat trust and just mention a description cucm tomcat certificate and upload the file I selected the file now I'll choose upload let's wait for this to be uploaded so now it says like uh, basically the certificate is uploaded successfully now you, we need to restart uh, uh, the tomcat uh, service um, so what i'll do is it says do it says like so util system restart we need to restart the system but i'll not restart the system but i'll restart the tomcat uh, certificate tomcat um, you know uh, uh, service i'll click on close now what i'll do is i'll log in to the UCCX and then what I'll do is I'll click on accept now enter the credential here 
and uh, after that what i'll do is i'll enter here All right, so I am able to log in. Now what I'll do is I'll uh, enter the command little service Tomcat. All right, so the service will get restarted. Let's give it a couple of minutes. So once the service is restarted, then again, we'll try to integrate. I'll pause the video for now. Okay, so looks like uh, the Tomcat service is restarted. So what I'll do is I'll try to log in and see if the Tomcat services come up. Okay, click on administration. Now I'll try to log in. Now let me enter the details of the call manager now we should not get that error that was popping up when we were trying to do the integration so yes so looks like uh, we are able to proceed with the next step so in this step what you have to choose is you have to choose the licensing so it can be your lab it can be your production it can be anything whatever you choose to wish right so let's say I choose premium. And after I do that, it is asking me to enter these details, uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, doing the smart licensing. So if in case, if you have already smart license enabled, you can go ahead and uh, do the integration. But if you want to use it for your labbing purpose, so you can click on next. So remaining all the process uh, looks uh, all the process looks similar, right? Okay, so the components are activated. I'll click on next. Click on next again. Here you need to select your Excel provider. In my case, uh, I my Excel provider is like uh, I have only one node, right? So uh, in that case, I don't have to, you know push here and there so I can select um, my call manager node so this is going to be uh, my publisher here also I have to make sure my publisher uh, the CTI service is running so I'll select a CTI here and here what I'll do is uh, in the um, <clears throat> unified telephony system I'll do C6 Chitapi and put a credential over here and in the below here I'll put C6 RMCM and enter the credential and click on next oh looks like the password is not matching let me try again Okay, it says like I already have a RMCM user uh, on my call manager. Do you want to reuse it or create a new user? So I'll click on OK to reuse the existing one. So I use it for testing purposes. So click on OK. Otherwise, you can click on cancel. If you are doing a new integration, you will not get this error anymore, uh, anywhere, right? So it says like number of uh, direct preview outbound seats you want to configure. I'll leave it as default. Codec, I'll leave it as default. Click on next. And here in the language configuration, I'm going to select as language US. Click on next. And here uh, I have a user created in uh, the contact and the call manager as CCX admin. If in case if you don't have it, you can create one. So let me show you how exactly you can create it.
that's a very simple user go to the end user and create end user So C6 admin is the end user I created and hence the reason it is appearing on the uh, contact center. So this is the very basic details which I have given here. Nothing specific. It's very basic. So what I'll do is I'll select this on the left hand side and click on finish. And once you finish, it says like uh, setup is completed. The configuration was updated uh, successfully. Please restart the contact center notes in the cluster. Publish a note to be restarted followed by subscriber. So in the previous case, if I remember correctly in 10.x or 9.x, you don't need to necessarily restart your cluster. But here it looks like we need to restart the publisher followed by the subscriber if we have if we have any, right? So all those all other services are up, uh, you know enabled successfully. And now we can go ahead and restart the cluster. I mean contact center cluster and then it should come up with um, all the services so this is how you integrate uh, the contact center uh, with the call manager in 12.5 and this is how you you know uh, resolve that error where you have received the certificate issue so i've created similar video uh, for integrating uh, the contact center with call manager 11.x which is a little bit in detail probably but this is i have gone it uh, very fast because uh, this is something like which i've already explained in the past in the previous video i'll put the uh, video link in the description you can follow uh, the integration how do you integrate the contact center with the call manager in case of 11.x so that has some more information uh, apart from what i have given today all right so i hope uh, you like this video thank you for watching